Yeah, it is true. I didn't get the result that I wanted in Australia. I came back a little sooner than what I anticipated. But this training vlog was, I feel like it was very important for me to do and not just go to the next tournament to get more points or, or to get more matches. But this training vlog was very important for me to understand where I am with my tennis game, and where I am mentally and emotionally, and what I need to change so that I can compete against uh, the top 10 players. I can compete against these bigger players and ultimately get the, the win and the success on my side. Now the past year I was very used to having the full team here, my performance coaches here with me, uh, my dad, but uh, we decided that it would be good to, to have my dad and I spend more time together. He knows what to do in these situations so that I can get back on the court being able to compete at the highest level. From like when she said I'm going to college, and like okay, yeah, you're going to California. You're going the far. Yeah. <laughs> you're going the longest flight from Tim to Tim. Yeah. This is actually the very first time that my sister isn't here with me, um, which is very, very weird. Uh, very, I wouldn't say lonely. I wouldn't say alone. It was just like kind of. Um, an empty feeling because a lot of the time I would be happy coming back home, seeing my sister, I get to spend time with her, I get to practice with her, spend, uh, work on things with her on the tennis court. But then this time, like, she wasn't here to greet me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this... Did you have a good car nap? Yeah, saw that, huh? Yeah, it was a perfect car now. <laughs> it was needed. The, the main goal for this training block was the mentality, um, the mental toughness, intellectual side of the tennis game. So we spent a lot of time trying to analyze what I could have done better, like technically of like my ground strokes, but then also mentally. There are moments, like I said in in the past recap video in the AO, I was unfortunately mentally a little frustrated in moments and that changed the whole momentum. So we wanted to analyze that deeper and we wanted to see what I could have done better, what we need to do to make that better. And that was the main goal. And hopefully 
it has worked. I feel like it has, and hopefully in my next match, my next matches, I can execute what I've been training. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Come enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I was born in Ecuador. Forehand. Forehand. Thank you. Thank you. Have one. Have so this dog. is like what? You our. Oh, you yeah. don't have dogs. No. no, but we love dogs. Look at her. Dogs. Yeah. dogs, cats, kids, and they all run away from me. <laughs> it's very heartbreaking. Not good for the morale. <laughs> all of them, every single one of them, will come to me, sniff me, and then she goes straight to be I can stay there. Couldn't believe it. Not Was fair. not happy. Not fair. Yeah. Life's not fair. <laughs> This is stretch one. This is 53 year old stretch. Position two, ready? And position two. Position three. Yeah, if I don't breathe, I die basically. Straight to the, straight to the hospital. That's it, this is the old man stretch. I'm almost ready to go. This young, young generation has to do mobility. Well, the typical day for me would be a 7.30 start. At 7.30, I would start with uh, mobility. And then afterwards, I would do my 8 o'clock fitness session. 8 to 9.30 maximum. Fitness session would kind of consist of a little bit of everything, plyometrics, a little bit of sprints. And I think the most important would be yoga. Uh, we, we changed it up a little bit this week uh, or the past few, few weeks decided to do a lot more yoga. It was definitely different, but it was hard. I never thought no yoga was gonna be hard, but it was hard. <laughs> and then from there, I would have an 11 to 12.30 tennis session. After that first session, I would eat lunch and I would have my daily naps, at least I tried to. And then from two to four, I would have my last tennis session. And from there, I'll be going back home, stretch, my last stretching of the day to, to feel good, to recuperate, and then dinner, sometimes just relax. Uh, just a long conversation with my parents, watch movies together or shows. weekend we we decided to go to the hair salon uh, did something different to the to my hair we decided to get some highlights you know I had highlights for a couple of years now but I didn't get it redone so last weekend we had the chance to get it redone uh, I will be my second time going there so I'm excited because the last time I was there last year was very fun and I enjoyed my time beautiful beautiful um, cities I think now I feel a little bit more prepared because I know what what's to come I know what what type of food or the hotel that they have so like I know what what I need to do but then my tennis game my tennis wise I feel the night last few weeks I was able to really work on the on the specifics that I was uh, not doing so well in Australia and I was able to improve every single day and hopefully I know that I know that I'll be able to execute it in Doha and Dubai and hopefully I can get a couple of wins under my belt and I can start off the season even better or just kind of in a good momentum going into the rest of the season.